Good morning, teachers. We are live on YouTube. <clears throat> what time do we need the officer? Saturday? 11 to 5? I think we said 11 to 5. I have nobody. Oh, there's one. Oh, we lost our one. So far, I only have one person on YouTube. If we could start logging in, that would be great. Thank you. If you open one and it says upcoming and you don't see my lovely face, you are not on the right one. It looks like I have four people on now. I have four people on. Do you want me to go ahead and start? Okay, what time today? Eight o'clock. Good morning. Okay, the only call. The only. We have five people on, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. <clears throat> This week, we will focus on the earliest Christian believers. Baptism is the sacrament of belief. Those in the early church who came to believe in Jesus were told to repent and be baptized so they might receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We believe that baptism confers an indelible mark upon the believer, a mark that can never be erased or destroyed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. But Peter raised his voice and addressed them, Jesus of Nazareth, a man arrested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs, this man, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. This Jesus God raised up, and of all that of us are witness. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. We have been changed by baptism, changed into Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Our school prayer. We ask you, Lord, to direct all of our actions and to carry them out with your help so that all that we do may begin with you and by you be successfully completed. Be it known to all who enter here that Christ is the reason for this school, the unseen but ever-present teacher in our classrooms, the model for our faculty, and the inspiration of our students. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mission statement. Our Lady of Guadalupe is a Catholic school community dedicated to instilling Catholic character, to strengthening academic excellence, and to empowering students to serve others. Confident in the love, protection, and guidance of God through the intercession of Mary, our Mother. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please face the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible, 
You may be seated. Good morning, Eagles. Today is April 15th, National Laundry Day. Maybe we can help our parents out and do some laundry today. Let's give a big birthday shout out to the following students who celebrate this week. Easton Govea in fourth today, Evelyn in seventh grade on the 18th, Moises in second grade on the 19th, Phoenix Esparza in eighth grade on the 20th, and Christian Gomez in fifth grade on the 21st. We hope you'll have a great birthday. Moving to things you need to know. Today from nine to 10, third through fifth graders will be called to the nurse's office for a screening. Tuesday, eighth grade feast day celebrating the feast of St. Bernadette. And from 4 to 5.30, we have a girls softball game versus St. Anne Houston. Wednesday, we have mass uniform. And then at 4 p.m., the boys have a baseball game versus St. John Paul. Thursday at 1.30, pre-K through third award assembly. And 4 to 5.30 is a boys baseball game versus St. Anne Houston. Friday at 1.30, we have fourth through eighth grade award assembly. Remember that this month we're focusing on responsibility. So remember that you have the responsibility of turning in your homework, doing your projects, and making sure you're studying for your test. This also goes along with being prepared for the day. Make sure you have everything you need for the day because there should be no reason for you to go back to your lockers and get stuff. Have a good day. We have a few more announcements. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I know they just went over things you need to know for the week, which ended on Friday. But on Saturday, we have our annual school gala. This is an event for parents and friends of the school and church community to come together and fundraise for our school. Some of the items that are going to be available to bid were posted online yesterday. We have purses. We have coffee carts. We have summer wagons. We have summer activities. We have spirit baskets from the high schools. But one of the other things we have are faculty outings. So almost all of our teachers have donated some of their time and some of their resources to spend extra time with students. So I'm going to read you guys brief descriptions so that you guys can tell your parents if you want them to bid on their teacher outing. So with Ms. Yanez in Pre-K-3, there's going to be a Pre-K-3 teacher of the day. So all of our Pre-K-3 friends can bid to be with Ms. Yanez for the day. Pre-K-4 also has Teacher of the Day, so one of our Pre-K-4 friends will get to work with Ms. Mendo and Mr. E and be the teacher in Pre-K-4 for a day. In kindergarten, Ms. Tucker is doing an afternoon at the zoo, so the student and one friend will get to leave school a little early and go meet Ms. Tucker at the zoo for a snack, a drink, and an ice cream cone. In first grade, we have a movie with Ms. Alvear and Ms. Duran. So a st winning student and one friend will get to go to a movie with the teacher and they're going to pick the movie and pick the day. In second grade, we have teacher of the day. So a second grader will get to be Miss Romaguera for the day, dress as a teacher, sit at her desk and do everything that Miss Romaguera gets to do. In third grade, we have a Japanese outing with Miss Gutierrez and Miss Vanessa. The winner will get Japanese barbecue and bubble tea or boba. So third graders, that's an exciting one. Fourth grade. So this, this teacher of the day with Ms. Estrada is open to fourth and fifth graders since Ms. Estrada teaches fourth and fifth grade. The winning student will get to fill Ms. Estrada's shoes for the day and, and teach her classes. Ms. Estrada is doing another, another item that's a, an outing at Cidercade. So the winning student and a friend will walk over to Cidercade after school one day with Ms. Estrada and have pizza and drinks and play arcade games. Ms. Tom Chesson is also doing a Cidercade outing and hers is open to fourth through seventh graders since all those students see her during the day. So again, you're walking over to Cidercade with pizza and arcade games with Ms. Tom Chesson. Ms. Farley is taking a winning student and three friends to a U of H Cougars baseball game. That is sixth, seventh, or eighth graders can win that exciting prize. Food, drinks, and a surprise U of H swag for the auction winner. Ms. Bewley and Mr. Einish are giving the winner a choice. Their winner can either 
have dinner at Nympha's on Post Oak and a movie at the Rooftop Cinema Club, or you can go to Top Golf for two hours plus dinner at Freddy's Frozen Custard. So the winner, the sixth, seventh, or eighth grader that wins that one will get to choose if they want to do dinner and a movie or Top Golf. Miss Bewley and Miss Guillen are opening their adult auction item to all OLG parents to have brunch and mimosas at Barnaby's Cafe with Miss Bewley or and Miss Guillen. Miss Guillen is also doing a rustic brush outing. Rustic brush is where you can create your own homemade item. You take it home and um, you can make a, a board for your wall. You can make a, a little tray for your desk. Lots of things you have the option to make at Rustic Brush. So that'll be open to fourth through eighth graders. We have a Spanish teacher for the day where you get to teach Miss Martin's classes. We'll have a coach for the day where you get to teach all the PE classes. We have a lunch with Miss Vanessa. So the teacher, Miss Vanessa, will buy the winner and a friend a private lunch. And then we have our administration items. We have receptionist for the day with Miss Antiveros, administrative assistant for the day with Miss Chavaria, advancement office with me. This is someone who will spend the entire next school year doing uh, different things. Sometimes they'll be on YouTube announcements. Um, one year we had a student do a radio ad for Catholic Radio. This past year, um, there was a holiday promo for Channel 13 that the student got to do. That's open to current fourth through seventh graders who will be in fifth through eighth grade next year. And we also have the assistant principal for the day and the principal for the day. So all these things will be available on silent auction, which means even if you're not attending the event, you'll be able to bid on them. And all of those teacher of the days will be held on the same day with the principal for the day. So the school will announce when that day is gonna be. We plan to keep posting previews of our items and we hope for the auction to go live on Thursday afternoon. So the attendees for the event will get to see everything Saturday night at the gala, but there will be pictures and details online starting on Thursday for everybody to see. So thank you for all your help, teachers, parents, uh, your support for our auction items. It wouldn't have happened without your assistance. And we are excited to share the event with everyone on Saturday. Couple more announcements. Hi, good morning. I hope everybody had a beautiful and restful weekend. I know I'm sure some of you are probably on countdown mode. How many weeks are left in the school year? you know, um, to wrap up things. So just a few announcements. I wanted to touch back on on the administration stuff for the day. Uh, that way I can elaborate on my outing. Uh, for the principal of the day, I am going to provide breakfast of your choice. Um, I'm also going to take you off campus to lunch. I always provide, since I'm known for my bag that I carry with all my stuff, for the day, like a walkie-talkie and keys, I am purchasing a bag for you to keep, too. Um, you'll be making announcements throughout the day, with the, and you'll be able to use the walkie-talkie. You'll call a meeting with all the teachers of the days. Uh, so it'll be an exciting, then you get to make a decision for uh, the rest of the, the school year, one decision uh, on what is the best uh, decision for the student body. You get to make a decision for student body. All right, so um, I hope that your families are out there bidding if they don't make the gala. So be sure to tell your parents if you want to be teacher of the days or be part of any of the outings. Um, so we look forward to have a lot of you participate um, in these teacher outings and teacher of the days and administration of the day. All right, so moving on. Let's see. While I was last week and I've seen it there for a while now, there's lots of lost and found items, guys. When I say lost, I'm going to go ahead and describe some things. I think this shoe size might be a second grader. I could be wrong because if, you know, second grade on up went, uh, were part of the field day. Um, there's a black pair of Adidas tennis shoes if you're missing those. Uh, probably second, maybe third grade. Um, they're in the office. We also have a pair of Crocs that are like a rainbow tie-dye color. Uh, we also have this large towel that has that says snack time and a big shark is printed on it. Um, 
we also have a change of clothes, your entire change of clothes. If, if you were going to be getting wet, that's there. Uh, we also have lots of school jackets. So if you're missing your school jacket, we probably have over 10 jackets there. And those jackets are pretty expensive. So I'm going to ask the school office to uh, put those out. And uh, maybe we could set them out so that you can walk by and look through the items. That way um, you're not having to go inside the office. But if you see it, something that belongs to you, you may have. Take it with you. All right. Some other items are, I wanted to touch base on the uh, virtue for the month. Just going to keep reminding everybody that it, the virtue is responsibility. So that's like taking uh, pretty much like you being responsible for your own actions. Uh, taking responsibility of your own behavior at mass. I know last week, Father Raphael mentioned, I guess he noticed some of you are a little bit quiet at mass. And so participation at mass is part of the school response, you know, your responsibilities as a student here at Guadalupe, following class directions, instructions the first time in the classroom. I um, mean, just following the school rules um, and at home as well, just following uh, your parents tell you to clean up or pick up or put away your shoes. Uh, you should listen to your mom or dad the first time or grandparents, you know, they tell you versus reminding you three times to pick up your shoes or complete your homework or put your things away. Um, so just reminders to keep working on responsibility. And then let's see, we I wanted to also remind everyone that uh, we just put this mask. I don't know if it's on the calendar yet, but it will be. But I want to remind everyone that uh, and I, I believe I mentioned it last week at, on Wednesday's Mass that we are going to have a Mass on April 28th on a Sunday. This is uh, the same day as the Parish Festival. We hope everyone can come out and support the Parish. Um, so that's not this weekend, but the following weekend. Um, and then that following Monday, we have no school. So hopefully you can come out and support the Parish and attend Mass on April 28th. I believe, let's see, those are all my, yeah, all my announcements. Well, have a beautiful day, guys. Enjoy your week, and um, let's finish strong the school year. All right, God bless.